Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Thanks for joining the televisionary. Yes, it's been a while. I'll explain later. Who just watched, uh, as I'm calling it, a tearjerker, one of the most emotional episodes of what I've seen on The Walking Dead so far? Who just watched it? Start sharing your thoughts and comments. This was a big deal because a major character has left the building, officially. It's been confirmed, he's done, and he's not coming back unless there are flashbacks or flash forwards. How do you feel about this? I thought Carl was a great character. He added so much just to the show and to the storylines and, and the plots and the twists and just the way he went out um, to take his own life so no one would have to do it for him after being bit if you didn't know what had happened to him. But you put that in, in real life perspective, as I always say, television mirrors life. How could a father sacrifice their son knowing their son would turn into something they would have to eventually kill? To me, that just hits right here. And I think that was the biggest shock factor of that episode, even though we knew it was coming from where they ended, um, you know, in the, the fall finale up until this episode. Wow. That's basically what the episode revolved around, just the non-diegetic music of just solemn and just the flash forward scenes. Then we jumped into scenes with Morgan and Carol and the rescue of Ezekiel. And there was a sacrifice there, too, and there was a plot twist because Morgan was going to take out every one of Negan's guys to save Ezekiel. And I, could, I almost saw that scene as being biblical and, made, you know, that choice of doing right from wrong. Even Carol was, who's a badass, she was encouraging Morgan not to kill that one of those head honchos guys, I forget his name, of Negan. And then at the end, there was a twist because it was that kid that ended up killing him. So there was much of the uh, redemption in that episode, definitely on Morgan's end, and thank God King Ezekiel was saved, because I really like King Ezekiel, I don't want to see him go just yet. And the one thing that did get me was the flash forward with Negan in it, that obviously Carl was, was having. What do those flash forwards mean? And what does that mean for Negan? Because what I've heard is that when the whispers come into play, Negan takes the uh, takes side with Rick and the crew, and it makes Negan look like an altar boy. So how bad are these whispers going to be? If that is even true of what I'm hearing, but what did that flash forward uh, mean when they showed Negan basically in the garden? This episode was well written. Uh, the music, just the solemn, definitely going down in the history books. So what are your thoughts? Please share them. How do you feel now that Carl has left the building? Um, it's definitely going to impact the rest of the characters. Definitely Rick. Definitely the storylines. It always does when a major character leaves. And of course, they gave us you know the previews for the next couple episodes and the rest of the season on what's going to happen here. Share your thoughts and comments. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Adam King of TV3 for more. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more. Uh, share the video with all, on all social media platforms with friends and family of The Walking Dead. Uh, definitely a show, I, I always say, reminds me of Lost. It really has those moments in my eyes of, of biblical. Uh, definitely with sacrificing and the whole redemption and making that choice. So, what do you think? Uh, there are more videos coming. I've been on a hiatus lately, kind of like the networks uh, with for the Olympics. But I'm coming back, so get ready. There's more coming, and I'll explain why I've been on a hiatus because it's something big that you guys need to know about. So thank you. It's always for you guys, so thanks for the continued love and the support. Televisionary, I will see you this week.